Greetings. So I just um, gave the keys to my landlord, officially free. Um, but rather than that, uh, I don't have to really um, pay any of the final bills I found out for the next like week or two because I still need to do final calculations. Uh, but rather than that, yeah, I'm feeling good. I at least have a good jump off to some money and uh, feeling pretty good. It's kind of windy. It's actually pretty cold, but uh, not too bad. I'm just chilling here right now at a park. It's a park pretty uh, close by my work. But uh, yeah, right now um, I'm kind of just going through a phase of doing some organization. Uh, I had to put in a few extra things uh, moving out. I need to kind of uh, downsize some space. But I know after this first week, especially how cold it is, you know, like nothing material really even matters. Um, so you just really will quickly know um, exactly what you need. Um, but it's still winter time and a lot of survival skills still are important. But uh, yeah, just going to go to work in about two hours, continue things like usual. And then probably when I get out of work, um, I'll eat and then go to the gym, um, take a shower, and uh, yeah, just get acquainted with that type of routine. The gym right now is 24 seven, so I might stay there for a little while. And then, uh, yeah, just gonna get ready for my first night in my car, sleeping in my car. Next week's gonna be pretty cold. Um, it's gonna be a low of negative three all, all like around next week. So um, yeah, I'm just trying to do the best I can. Uh, make sure I eat as much as possible and um, exercise and you know just stay active and fit. Uh, the journey begins now. Peace. Thank you all for your support and the um, warm wishes of health. Uh, really means a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my best to survive out here <laughs> in Alaska. <laughs> So I just got back from the grocery store and from now on I go to the, um, it's called the cheap grocery store, but um, they have a lot of good food there. I spent uh, $20. So I'm about to go to work. Changing in the car uh, wasn't too difficult. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna see how today goes. Um, got enough room, you know, to do everything I need to for work. And then um, I'm gonna be off the next two days. I've been working seven days in a row. But uh, with these next two days off, I'm gonna really uh, reorganize and clean and free up as much space as possible in my car. Yeah, I'll catch up to you guys later when I'm all finished. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be going to the gym. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying to get to bed probably as early as possible. This is like one of the best things I ever bought. Just has one connection, but um, nice little power inverter. Hey, so I just got off work. Uh, it was a pretty good day. I'm actually about to go to the gym. Gonna get some miles in on the bike. Uh, might hit up a few machines and uh, definitely take a shower. You know, wash my hair. Just feel good on the first night. And then uh, I'm gonna go and go get some food. <laughs> I'm getting some vegan Taco Bell. Got some bean and rice burritos, extra bean and rice. I'm uh, gonna give them a try. Super cold, probably won't be using a stove for the first week because it is currently five degrees and uh, today was super windy too. So yeah, you know, Taco Bell is 24 seven. Gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, yeah, I just, thought, I just thought, you know, my first night I should at least 
you know, eat out, enjoy myself a little bit and try and take the edge off. Yeah, I'm gonna eat these and then gonna go um, stop somewhere real quick to set up my sleeping bag in the back of my seat and then uh, go park somewhere and find somewhere to sleep for tonight. So uh, this is where I will be sleeping tonight. Super in the cut at this apartment complex that I know of. There are some lights over there, but right here there's no lights and it's kind of an extra space and no one would really want to park here because it's the furthest parking spot from um, the entrance. So yeah, I'm gonna set up shop here. All right, first night. Um, sorry, it's super dark. I uh, can't really turn my light on here, hence stealth camping. Uh, but yeah, the key is to try and find somewhere um, super quiet, especially when I jump into the back here. No one will really be able to see me. Um, but right now I'm going to eat a little bit and then I'll jump in the back and I got um, my phone fully charged, a whole bunch of Netflix episodes downloaded. And uh, yeah, just going to chill out. I'm not really all that tired. Um, but I should be out of here by 6 or 7. And by that time, everyone's windows will be completely frosted. So when I turn my car on, no one will even notice. Uh, but yeah, thanks for uh, seeing the first night. And I'll probably make a final clip in the morning just to show you um, how the night went. Hello. So it is about 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I just woke up uh, probably about like 10 minutes ago and already left the location. Overall though, how was the sleep? Um, well, I feel, feel pretty good. Um, my back is just like a, a little stiff, but surprisingly my legs uh, feel pretty good, actually really good. Especially after biking like five miles last night. I think I went to bed around say like min 12.30, definitely wasn't one. So I slept for about like five to six hours. And um, yeah, it was a little hard at first and I had to have my window cracked open a little bit so I could get some fresh air. Um, but rather than that, it wasn't too bad. Uh, my sleeping bag did wonders. I actually woke up uh, sweating. Like a lot of areas of my body were sweating, but uh, my bag wasn't too ventilated, so cold air didn't get in. Um, but yeah, it was a really, really warm sleep. After this week, like the lows will be like 15 and above. You know, uh, I'm thankful that I'm at least prepared. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I would, I would say like the more secure a location, the easier this will be and the more comfort. But yeah, rather than that, not too bad. Um, I can't say it was really anything terrible. Here I am. So I'm just going to pack up my sleeping bag. I'm right, right now I'm in front of the gym parking lot. I might go in in a little bit, freshen up, and maybe do like a morning bike ride. Uh, but yeah, I'm off for the next two days. See you guys later. Day one, living in my car complete. <laughs> Peace. Hey, day number two. Uh, living in my car So I just had a nice session at the gym. I think I did maybe two and a half miles three miles or something like that Then I uh, did a nice leg workout Which felt really good a leg and lower body workout and I had a really good stretch There's this like a uh, crazy bar thing that you can stretch all parts of your body on So I did that i um, feeling really good and then I got a nice 10 minute Hydro massage, 8.30, you know, sunlight's out. About to get a haircut. Hey, so I just left uh, my barber shop. Some really uh, cool Puerto Ricans. And uh, yeah, just a little something, something. So I can be a little bit more presentable. A little clean up. For anyone who doesn't believe me, 9.30 in the morning, one degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, so about to go into the library. Pretty nice sunny day. So this is gonna be kind of like the main library is usually open till 11 p.m. And uh, gonna just get the uh, parking permit so I can come here whenever. And I think it, it's really important to um, know places to um, stay at most of the day so you're not just in your car all day. So I made it here to the library. Just gonna post up here for a bit, eat, and 
um, upload a video, and yeah, just research some stuff and just relax, to be honest. Peace.